Hi all, Hiba here. So uh, I promised you a uh, deep dive on how the Backbone 1, which you can see in the picture here, uh, actually integrates with World of Warships Legends. So uh, that's what I'm going to have a look at in this video here. And we're going to touch upon um, you know, how to play over the cloud, remote play, and uh, also the World of Warships Legends mobile app. But uh, first, let me just run through the options that you have if you want to play this game here uh, on the move, basically. So the first option, which unfortunately you cannot do at the moment, is to make use of the cloud gaming uh, opportunity that you have on Xbox and PlayStation 5 and 4, I'm assuming, to just, you know, stream the game basically via the cloud to your iPhone or your iPad or whatever you uh, pick to choose to actually play the game on. Unfortunately, this option isn't available for Legends at the moment, at least not on Xbox. Uh, so that brings us to the second option, and that's called Remote Play. And really what that is, is just that you connect to your local Xbox, uh, you know, using your Wi-Fi, uh, and then you pretty much just stream the game directly from your Xbox to your phone or your iPad or whatever. All it requires is an app on your phone or your iPad, and you're pretty much ready to go. That brings me to the third option, and that is, you know, old school. Just go into the App Store or the Google Store, or whatever it's called on Android phones, pick up the World of Warships Legends uh, app, uh, and then you can play the soon to be finished version of the, the mobile version of the game. So uh, these are your three options, but uh, you know, common for all of them is that you need a good controller. And uh, I know you can connect existing controllers via Bluetooth, but you get lag then and uh, I bought this Backbone one a few days ago and this is the best purchase I've ever made and uh, this is the piece of hardware I want to get working with World of Warships Legends. So uh, the Backbone one itself is just super smooth high quality you know, pretty much Apple grade gear here. Uh, it's really nice and uh, you know the tactile feedback is excellent the buttons are excellent the analog pads are excellent and it also has a full array of triggers as you can see and even the bottom ones being analog so uh, it's a complete uh, controller and uh, it works beautifully so uh, since we can't check out the cloud uh, streaming version on Xbox at least uh, we will start out with the remote uh, version here and uh, in this example here, I have pretty much connected my uh, iPhone to the Backbone 1 and then I've, uh, via the Xbox app on the iPhone, I've connected to my local Xbox, which you can see just on the left there. And uh, that's pretty much it. You are now streaming your game directly from your Xbox via your Wi-Fi onto the iPhone. And uh, the controls are done using the Backbone 1 on your iPhone. Uh, right here I'm off screen controlling with the Xbox controller, but it, uh, you get the point. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, there's very little lag here, but uh, sometimes mm, the uh, remote play is just not very good. Right here is acceptable. Uh, it's not because there's a lot of uh, you know lag between the Xbox and the phone. As you can tell, it's pretty much instant. Uh, it's more the fact that you tend to get interference and dropouts of gameplay and uh, like sometimes it's just like there's a few frames missing every second which gets really annoying and um, it's just uh, it's just not working as well as some of the other games I've tried where I'm actually playing via the cloud which is very strange because uh, like in theory uh, it should be you know much better performance having uh, your local Xbox streaming to your phone just like you know two feet away but uh, in general uh, I'm not too impressed with the remote play here uh, and that goes for pretty much all games not just legends so it's more of a networking thing here and uh, what I have here is an ideal setup my Xbox is wired um, so there's no Wi-Fi connection between that and the internet and uh, obviously the only Wi-Fi is between the Xbox and the um, phone which is 5 gigahertz which Microsoft recommends but still it's not perfect but as you can see here like 
fiddling around in the menus, you know, like looking at commanders, like checking your bureau progress and, uh, you know, doing all sorts of like daily maintenance stuff. Yeah, you could do that very easily. But have a look here how the frames are actually skipping. Um, because before the game was running relatively well and now for some odd reason it's just uh, really choppy. And uh, when it's like this you can't really play the game. Well, you can, but uh, it's not very enjoyable and uh, I tend, well, I don't play <laughs> Legends via remote play because it's just not stable enough for my liking. Unfortunately, because uh, as you can see, it uh, it works beautifully. It's just uh, Microsoft needs to iron out the last few uh, connection things here. Um, and uh, who knows when that'll be. But uh, so far, uh, it's not my pick for actual gameplay. But like I said, uh, bureau stuff, like shopping around in the store, like doing some tech tree things and pretty much anything except actually playing. You can do really, really well with the uh, remote play. All right, let's have a look at the graphics next. And this is a uh, screen like grabbed directly from my phone. And uh, as you can see, there are a few artifacts from uh, compression and you can see the frame rate is really choppy. And uh, sometimes it's buttery smooth, so it can run perfectly. Uh, but sometimes, well actually most of the time, you end up with something like this, which is kind of a slideshow uh, thing, which obviously is not ideal for playing. Uh, you can probably pull off some AI battles or stuff like that, but anything against humans, uh, you are going to have a really hard time. Uh, and I would like, much recommend that you just stick with your Xbox uh, or wait for this game to be available via uh, the cloud gaming option. Uh, where obviously the artifacts tend to get a little bit worse because there's more compression involved uh, but uh, the game runs a lot more stable usually but uh, we'll just go back to the menu here so you can see what it looks like and I mean it looks pretty good I mean uh, and again in the menus yeah there's nothing stopping you running around doing your daily maintenance um, as you can see but uh, yeah it's a uh, it's not ideal yet, remote play, unfortunately. I should probably say that the choppiness and uh, you know the bad frame rates, they only happen like like 10% of the time. And when you get like the remote play running smoothly, like I am here, and of course, this is the one battle I play. <laughs> and of course, I get into a battle with Aaron and, uh, <laughs> and company. And uh, totally unplanned, I will say so, but I was playing this battle here on my phone and uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> but as you can see, when you get a remote play running on a stable Wi-Fi, it's actually quite good. But the problem is that you never know when uh, the choppiness sets in. And even if it's only for, you know, like 30 seconds, those could be like very important 30 seconds where you just don't want, um, you know, to lose frames or, you know, but uh, if you see here, yeah, like it's buttery smooth and uh, the graphics are like excellent actually. Uh, no artifacts or anything like that. And like I said, this is how it is most of the time. Uh, it's just unfortunate that sometimes uh, the choppiness cuts in so you can't really uh, trust that you're going to have a smooth experience every time you play, unfortunately. All right, next let's have a look at the uh, World of Warships Legends mobile app that you can download from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, and I have access to this and it is not finished yet. It's a work in progress. It's actually quite a work in progress because it's nowhere near finished. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to, uh, to test it out. And unfortunately, and this is like a big, huge, unfortunately, the app still does not support external uh, hardware for controls meaning that uh, when you actually fire up the game you cannot use your backbone one to uh, control the ships in the game and that's just silly and i certainly hope that wargaming will implement uh, support for these controllers here at some point i know the game is not finished yet and uh, uh, hopefully it will be soon um, because once that support is in the game then it actually turns into quite a uh, a good alternative to remote play because as you can see here because 
the game is running locally on your phone you don't get any delay you don't get any artifacts and uh, everything just works out really really well uh, except for one thing here and that is the graphical prowess of the well iPhone app here is not what you get in the um, Xbox version of the game and it's not what you get in uh, using remote play when remote play works <laughs> so uh, this here is gameplay shot on my phone using the legends mobile app and uh, although it's not bad it's certainly not uh, you know the quality we expect from Xbox or PlayStation that would be uh, well yeah well it's not and the controls are let's just be honest here they're terrible I mean this is like playing World of Warships Blitz and uh, it's just not competitive at all so you will need hardware support so let's just compare that to what I got when I was playing remote uh, with my Xbox here and you can see the quality is much much better uh, except for the stuttering there that uh, hopefully we'll get rid of once remote play is out of the beta version it's in now just like remote play uh, the World of Warships Legends app native mobile app uh, is like fine if you just want to putter around the menus uh, and uh, you know check stuff out and you know set up some commanders and check your bureau and stuff uh, unfortunately there's nothing like that included yet in the app but like, I mean this has been unveiled almost six months ago so I'm kind of hoping that sooner or later they will actually release the app because uh, it's been a while now and there's still very little content in there um, but again the graphics on the app are a little bit disappointing compared to uh, remote play and probably even uh, cloud play so uh, that was my more thorough you know uh, walkthrough here of the backbone one used with world of warships legends and uh, it's not perfect yet um, but as i said the hardware itself is pretty much perfect it's the best uh, controller you can buy for your iPhone that's for sure uh, and if you want to use it with an iPad you can do that as well you just need a uh, lightning to USB-C uh, connector which is like 10 bucks or something so uh, I hope this video here gave a little bit of a look at how in the future and even already now you can play World of Warships Legends on the move so I uh, hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you out there